One of the best things about my ANOVA is what a gorgeous stitch I am able to achieve. I can get a beautiful stitch going right to left, left to right, in every direction, but it's crucial that you have all your settings correct. So in this video I'm going to show you how to recognize a good stitch. But there are a few more videos you may want to watch. One is how to use the Tau Attention gauge and I use this to set my bobbin tension and before I start stitching I set my bobbin tension where it should be and then the only thing that I adjust after I start stitching and assessing how it looks is my top tension so that um, I've eliminated one variable by using the tau attention gauge. Now it is not necessary to use a tau attention gauge, it just makes it easier, especially if you're new and you don't know what it feels like. Is this loose or is this tight? When you pull on this thread, it's hard to know because that's so subjective. And this gives you a number you can read. So it is easier to learn, I think. Another thing that is important when you're setting your tensions is I run my tensions, that's the bottom and the top, they need to, to balance, and they can balance on the tight side, and they can balance on the loose side. And either way, you're, you're achieving balance. However, if you're achieving balance on the loose side, there's a lot of thread that's in the bobbin and the hook area as it's forming the stitch. It's loose instead of tight, and you can get snaggles. This is when you get loops and little oddities that are hard to diagnose. So I find it is much safer or better if I uh, balance my thread on the tight side. Now, if it's too tight, you'll have breakage. So where I consider it just perfect is where I can stitch without breaking my thread, but it's as tight as I can get it. So sometimes I start with my um, tension too tight and then if I have some problems because I'm using a delicate thread or if I'm stitching really fast, both of those things um, would be reasons why you might adjust your tension just a little bit looser. But, you know, I've heard people say just run with it really, really loose and that way you'll avoid all breakage. But that's not really true and your stitch won't be as pretty. Um, to achieve that really tight, beautiful stitch that goes in the fabric with each um, uh, needle, the bobbin and the top need to lock nicely inside the fabric and it's very difficult to achieve if your tension is too loose. So after you watch this video, go find the video that teaches you how to set, how to, uh, set up your backlash disc that's inside your bobbin and then the other one, how to adjust your uh, check spring strength. The check spring strength is actually a very important setting that is often overlooked. And if you have odd stitches that snaggle and um, just aren't quite right, you may want to watch that video and consider if that is the problem. Having good tension is um, something that a long armor needs to be able to recognize and change when necessary. So first I'm going to talk about how to recognize a good stitch. Um, I have some stitching here that looks really good. So I'm going to zoom in and you can see that each stitch gets pulled down into the fibers. We don't have anything that where, where the stitches sit up on top of the, the fabric and the batting. Um, except for right here. So here I tightened it and it is too tight. And when it's too tight, um, you can see it, it gets kind of a flat line and you'll see too much bobbin being pulled up. That's because my top tension is too tight. And this section here is even tighter. And so you can really see um, that the top thread kind of lays on the fabric without getting pulled down into it. Now, I want you to see from the back side, it looks beautiful. You can really see that the stitch is getting pulled down in and it looks nice. So from the back side, you wouldn't recognize it. 
but from the front side you can really tell it's a problem. Now, that's if it's too tight on top. If you have your tension too loose on top, unfortunately, it looks pretty good. In this area right here, it is too loose on top. Now, as you get used to looking at your stitch, I can kind of see that it's not getting pulled down into the fabric very well. It looks okay though to the inexperienced eye. You can look at that and see a good stitch. But when you turn it over, you will get what we call often railroad tracks or eyelashes. And that is the top thread being pulled down too far. Now, in this case, it is because my top was too loose. This could also happen if your bottom is too tight, the bobbin. That's what it looks like on the back. Now, this is more of a problem for most long armors because what happens is it looks beautiful from the top, so they just keep stitching, and they sew, and they sew, and they sew, and then they look at the back, and they have eyelashes all over. So here at our shop, when we're stitching, we call it our insurance. When we have a good stitch, which here in the middle, this is an, a good stitch, and I'm going to point right, my camera can't focus too closely, so I hope that you are able to see what I want to point out. But we look mostly in the direction changes, and we want to see the slightest little hint, like right here, of the bobbin coming up. And if we see too much, then we know it's too tight. So we love to turn it too tight. So what we see is more like this. We know that this is just a little too tight. The top is starting to lay flat, and we're starting to see just a little bit too bob much bobbin. And once we see that, we loosen it back just a bit until it looks nice. So what we do is we overcompensate, and then we turn it back and we know we're not going to have railroad tracks on the bottom. So that's how to recognize a good stitch. Now, if this tension has all been set properly, your timing is good, and your bobbin tension is set right, you should have a machine that can run in any direction. without breaking thread and have a beautiful stitch. And it's one of the things that is just fantastic on the Innova machine. When you have it all right, what a gorgeous stitch you'll get.